Hey guys, welcome back to Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 4, Episode 2. So excited. I am so excited. I had to go full animal print today. Uh, I think it might be a little bit too much. Uh, apologies for that. I don't know what I was thinking, but we're just going to go with it. Really looking forward to this next episode. So without wasting too much of your time, let's get started. Wow, this music is so, so... <laughs> I know. It just gets funner and funner every time you play it. Going out? Yeah. I'm seriously caffeine deprived. I wanted to show you this little system I implemented. Just log every call you make in here, and that way when the bill comes, it won't be a problem. Stitch in time. Catches the worm. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> that smile, she's also, like, mmm. I noticed that some of my milk was missing. Oh, yeah, actually, I did. I, I meant to. No, it's totally okay. I was just wondering. I just wanted to make sure. Oh, no, no, no more song. Oh, no, no, no. Then we didn't have a thief or something. Have a good time. <laughs> you too. Ironing, ironing your jeans. <laughs> ironing a crease in your jeans. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, so she's nice, but Kathy. she's annoying. Yeah, she made big with the questions. <laughs> And you thought your days of sneaking out of your room were over. <laughs> no such luck. Kathy's nice mom, but she's sort of, I don't know, like mini mom of momdonia. Um. <laughs> Did you just hear something? <gasps> I'm chewing my gum kind of loud. Could use a little play tonight. College is a time of change, right? I mean, this whole dorm thing is just an adjustment we need to make. Say hey to us for me. Happy hunting. Oh. Very, very, very creepy. <laughs> the only problem I have with that entire first <laughs> scene. Oh, also, no, I won't be watching this for a few episodes. The only problem I have with that first scene is the copyright music. It just makes my life such a pain when it comes to editing these episodes for YouTube because it's going to complain about it, <laughs> but we, we do what we can. Uh, Kathy, she's nice, but she is just like a mini mum sort of thing. She's nice and she means well, but she's just annoying. Will? Oh, it's not Willow. Why don't you quit hiding and come out and face me like a thing? <laughs> hey, I caught you. Oh. I just decided a decaf latte sounded like heaven after all. Oh. So you're coming along. This way you don't have to walk these spooky paths alone. <gasps> oh, no, great. no, no, no. That's just great. <laughs> the fresh air, the trees, the smoke. Oh. <laughs> and you know why Kathy is not probably not gonna see any of this and she'll just think that Buffy was mean and pushed her for no reason. Yeah, because he's gone now. What the blizzard was that all about? He, um, tried to take my backpack. Oh, and look at my sweater. It's ruined. Sorry about that. Well, she took that better than I expected. Oh. Mirstigia Duraculo. Oh. Golavrika Toka. Akvamir. Hang on. Are they talking about Buffy or Kathy? You run? And jump. And bend. And occasionally frolic. <laughs> okay. What's with motorbike and scooter magazine? Okay, you're not having one of those midlife things, are you? Because I'm still going ish from the last time you tried to recapture your youth. Demon last night made with the pummeling, but he got away. And my roommate Kathy was there, but she didn't see anything. You took your roommate patrolling with you? <laughs> well, I invited the whole dorm, but she was the only one that could make it. <laughs> I told her I was going for coffee, and she decided to tag along. Well, we should discourage you from that habit. So yes. from what you describe, I, I'm not familiar with the creature, but I, I'll look into it and give you a ring when I find something. Well, you thank know, it's you. nice up here. <laughs> yes, I, I take my tea out here sometimes. What are you doing today? <laughs> it's a big day for me, actually. A friend of mine recently acquired a, an original Gutenberg demonography, and it suddenly occurs to me that you've never once asked me what my day's plans were, which would lead me to inquire whether you're feeling entirely yourself. I ask about you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, maybe the words don't actually make it out of my mouth, but I think about it. Mm -hmm. And it's appreciated. 
Oh. This doesn't explain why you're hanging around here instead of rushing off as usual. It's no big. Mm -mm, I just mm -mm. figured I'd hang here, you know, until my roommate goes to class. Ah, I see. Mm -hmm. But everybody has their idiosyncrasies. You do well to learn to tolerate them. Oh. Or I'll end up an old lady who can only live with cats. Something like that. I like that. It's actually very good advice from Giles. You need to learn to tolerate others. <sighs> but she is really annoying. Is she going in Buffy's closet? <gasps> no. Oh, the weapons bag. No. Oh. Okay, it doesn't seem like she thinks too much of it for now. Oh no. Oh no! Does she recognize that it's her sweater? Ex-boyfriend or loan shark? Both. Ugly <laughs> breakup. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just cut you. No, stay, stay. I'll watch your back. Oh, he, he really is too. <laughs> Freshman, huh? Or is it that obvious? Hey, oh. So. So, those are my, are you? Oh, no, I have someone waiting. Otherwise, I'd, <laughs> Parker Abrams. Buffy Summers. Well, I'll, I'll see you around. Seems nice, when will we die? <laughs> Say hi to non-college guy. Not that it's I nice mind, see but don't non-college guys usually populate the non-campus? Just thought I'd come around and check in my girls. Mm, and eat off girls. my plate. What's the deal, Zand? <laughs> Parents not beating you? Sure they do, for a price. Um, so, Spill. Mm. What was that all about? With the cutie patootie. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Nothing serious, I think. Just random adorableness. It looked like more than that to me. He got all googly-eyed. That's because he got hit by the buffinator. You think? Yeah. No question. He'll be back. <laughs> Any vamp action? No. I did get jumped by a demon of non-specific origin last night. Something apocalypse -y? Do we need to assemble the Scooby gang? No, but thank you for asking. I just got way too excited, didn't I? You just need to get out of the basement a little more there, Zan. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Oh, no, no. Squeeze in. Is that my sweater? Mm-hmm. I didn't think you'd mind. I mean, you got mine all muddy. I mean, I figure we're almost like sisters now, living together and everything. But she complained about Buffy using her milk. That's fine. I just wish you'd asked. So, where are you from, Kathy? Mm, Nebraska, originally. Big sky country. Oh! about my sweater. You can't believe the stuff that I have to put up with. Yeah, I guess it's hard, but I'm sure the sweater thing was an accident. <laughs> oh, well, I don't think I can take any of this. Let me just come back from the bathroom. I'll call you back. Don't forget to log those calls. Ugh. So annoying. No, she's flossing on the bed. Why not do it in the bathroom? Oh, man. I would, I would hate it. I would hate this. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. So everything there is Kathy's. Oh. No. Who left their gum here? Oh. <gasps> I don't know. And here comes the snoring. Oh. Wow. Not a good premonition. That was scary. There is so much going on there, scorpions. And the worst part, I wake up and there's Kathy staring at me like I'm some kind of freak. Well, actually the worst part, I'd have to go with the demon pouring the blood down your throat. <laughs> Me too. I would vote for that too. But that's just a dream, and this Kathy thing is real. Perhaps it would be more uh, productive to, to uh, examine your dreams. You can read dreams? Giles, Kathy, Kathy, Giles. He's our grown up friend. Uh, uh, not in a creepy way. <laughs> nice to meet you, Kathy. Ditto. 
Maybe you can read the dream I had last night. There was like this monster. He sat on me and he did all this stuff to me. Stuff like scorpions <gasps> and Bloody Mary minus the Mary? That's it. How'd you know? Well, I'm a good guesser. Me too. Oh. And I'm guessing that you need to be on your way to class, right, Kat? <laughs> Sounds like somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. And guess what? You were next to it. <laughs> you know, I do need to dash. My whole schedule is off because someone kept me up all night. Well, it's been fun. Toodles. Uh, if Kathy and you were having the same nightmares, uh, chances are something happened to you both when you met the demon in the woods. You guys can do the brain thing. I'm gonna go to class. Which could also be construed as the brain thing. Not yes. when you're minoring in Napping 101. That was the evil twin, right? She was bordering on Cordelia-esque. Uh, I concur that she's not uh, herself, but, but you know, mm -hmm. learning to live with someone can be uh, a challenge. Still, uh, let me know if she um, hits the red zone. Yes. Okay, well, Giles actually does seem to be quite worried about this. I thought that it was just Buffy disliking Kathy, but it could be driven by something else. Taparish. Oh no, not this again. <laughs> Madonna, Whitney. Oh, that's that guy. What's his name? Parker? Hey. Uh, I just oh. stopped by to say <laughs> that. Uh, bring you, you know, uh, to maximize your dining hall exports. Oh, wow. Nice feature card. That's so... Parker was just going to leave his number and go, but <laughs> we just started talking. <laughs> He's such a blast. The time just flew. Sort of got caught up talking Red Wings. It turns out Kathy's a closet hockey fan. I think it's the violence. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Look, if you two are going to wrestle, do you mind taking it outside? I didn't realize. Parker, wait. Well, it was great of you to stop by. M maybe we could do it another time. Another time, for sure. Bye, Kathy. Bye. See ya. Hmm. <gasps> it wouldn't have killed you to be nice, you know. It looked like you were being nice enough for the both of us. I wasn't moving in on your territory, if that's what you mean. Right. Just like you didn't destroy my sweater. Oh, she put a lock on it. I love that. Oh. I'm cold. Your problem is you're spoiled. Maybe the world revolved around you where you used to live, but it's share time now. I'll show you share time. Oh. Share time. Oh, out of the carton. <laughs> okay, this is. You're worried about her. That was yeah, very unusual bullshit. behavior I mean, what from kind Buffy? of demon runs around putting ooky blood dreams into people's heads? Maybe it is influenced by the demon. If it wasn't for this English paper, I'd be there right now, listening, doing the girly best friend thing. Well, I can do that. You can? <laughs> well, I'm not saying we'll braid each other's hair, probably, but you know, I can <laughs> hang with her, watch for signs she's going over the edge. Oh, she's probably patrolling by now. Oh, that's so sweet of us. I love that. Oh, is that some sort of werewolf connection? <gasps> Those taser guys. And I'm like, oh yeah, share this. <laughs> so either you hit her or you did your wacky mime routine for her. <laughs> well, I didn't do either actually. But she deserved it, don't you think? Nobody deserves mime, Buffy. Mm, <laughs> Kathy does. You've never come on routine patrol with me before, Oz. So what's the deal? You seem more interesting than homework. I can handle myself alone, you know? Not in question. So then, I go to the refrigerator, right? And the label queen has managed to put... Oh, just a... <laughs> just a thought, Buffy. Do you think that all this ranting is scaring away potential demons? She's even affecting my work now. She's a crawling black cancer! <laughs> Whoa! She's other really bad things. On the plus side, you killed the bench, which was looking shifty. <laughs> this isn't funny, Oz. She's... She's so irritating. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh. I think the demon has done something to both of them, you know?
Kathy's having the same dream. She leaves her gum all over the place. Uh, it sounds like things are rough, but don't you want to be talking to Buffy about this? I mean, sometimes I get the feeling that she is not quite normal, you know? <sighs> well, normal is relative, right? Ooh. Later, okay? <laughs> Why were you talking to her? I, I mean, I, I get it. I have a sucky roomie too, but you just have to deal. I've been thinking a lot about this, and it's clear to me now. Good. Kathy's evil. I'm an evil fighter. It's simple. <laughs> I'm gonna have to kill her. <laughs> right. <laughs> She's not serious. You have to kill her? Don't you think you could just switch rooms or something? Look. <laughs> oh. Toenails? Evil toenails. I took them off the floor last night when she was in the bathroom. The point is, I measured them before I fell asleep, and again this morning, and they grew. What? After they were cut. Buffy, she has what to is be wrong eliminated. with you? Of course. It, it makes sense now. But you better show those bad puppies to Giles before you do anything. I don't want to do anything crazy. Uh, no. Absolutely not. Giles, I just talked to Buffy, and yeah, I think she's feeling a little insane. So I told her to come see you, okay? <laughs> nice. It's got to be the demon's Giles? influence. Anybody home? Hello? Oh! oh! <gasps> what are you guys doing? This is, this is ridiculous. Buffy, this oh. hurts me more than it hurts you. Not yet, but it will. We're doing this to stop you from making a terrible mistake. Clearly, something is amiss. Yeah, something's amiss here. I miss Kathy Newman. Jazz, look at my bag. Look at the bottom pocket of my bag. Oh no, it's the toenails. <laughs> she has parts that keep growing after they're detached. She <laughs> irons her jeans. She's evil. She has to be destroyed. She was a demon that Buffy met in the woods who somehow possessed her. Light FM, love songs. Nothing but love songs. <laughs> um, you stay and watch her. I, I know a spell that will make the possessing demon reveal itself so that we can fight it, but I, I need to get some supplies from the magic shop. <laughs> She's possessed. Can I come in? Sure. It, it might be a good idea for you and Buffy to give each other some apart time. You might want to be uh, apart before she gets back. I should leave the room? Why should I go? <laughs> it, it's not fair, I know. You bet it's not fair. Having to live with someone who's obviously troubled, someone who so clearly needs to be in a home, not in a dorm. I don't know about that. I wouldn't put it past her to drop out or take off or something. Do something horrible to herself. She's capable of it, you know. You can see it in those shifty little eyes of hers. It's us. She's a Jaws. Uh, okay. During that really short phone call, I realized you are so right. <laughs> it's not fair to make you leave your own room. You're good. You just stay right there. And you guys won't believe me when I tell you that Kathy is bad. We want to, Buff. It's just... Shh. Don't engage. <clears throat> I don't know if I tighten those ropes enough. Oh. Well, then we better go over there and check them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear God. Avoid the legs. Nope, not tight enough. Oh, whoa. Kathy. Uh -oh. Buffy. I think we need to talk. Absolutely. Let's talk. Look what I did. <laughs> oh! Uh, look what I did. <gasps> oh! No I way. I knew it! <laughs> no way! What? She's been a demon? <laughs> She's a demon? I knew it. Why don't you just stuff it and let me finish my ritual? Ritual? The ritual of Moktaga, a race of transdimensional demons, a forced ingestion of animal blood while the victim <laughs> slumbers. Buffy's nightmares were real. I left my dimension to go to college, and they sent these guys after me. They no can way. always be recognized by others of their kind due to their lack of a soul. So I'm borrowing yours without even asking. They'll take the one without a soul. <laughs> it's share time, Buffy. <laughs> I couldn't 
Giles have shackles like any self-respecting bachelor. Oh my god, are you okay? Yeah. Oh, I'll call Kathy. Tell her to get out of here. Right down your clothes! No answer. Toenails. <laughs> Buffy was right. <laughs> Kathy's toenails not only keep growing after they've been cut, they actually regenerate huh, if they're destroyed. And that's a demon thing? Where is Buffy? You have even less time than I feared. So, Puffy was right all along. Later on, big remorse. Now, I found a spell that should reverse the soul transfer procedure. Willow and I will perform it at once. Leaving Xander and me to help Buffy in the flash. Elders of the upper reaches. Wow, this is so funny. <laughs> People are trying to study. <laughs> Open up. Let me finish. Let the unnatural vessel be emptied. Let the essence be returned to its original host. Thank goodness. That worked, right? That worked? Who can go my tag of a I knew that far. Who could have caught Victor Gordy? I tripped my can. Eat Paco or Ohio Gold, Nook. Oh my god. The Nook. I got cool back to Gak Oh wow. Okay. I'm so glad you're here, Will. I'm sorry I doubted you. I mean, you had reason to doubt. I'm just glad that it was Kathy's demony ways making me no fun Buffy. I always thought I was pretty easy going, you know? I don't burn incense or... Are you gonna finish this? <laughs> what a beautiful ending. <laughs> That was such a fun episode. I really enjoyed that. It had so much humor injected into the storyline and just everything that was going on. It was just so, so funny. I did not think that Kathy was a demon. I did think from the first episode that she's going to wind up dead. She'll be killed in some way. She actually seemed really nice the first episode but she was a demon all along. Wow, I love that. It was so funny that it was made out to be Buffy that was just possessed by the demon, going crazy, wanting to kill Kathy, but obviously for very good reason. I'm not going to say that I feel sorry for Kathy in any way. <laughs> because she was very annoying but she was just a girl trying to have a normal life she it, her story actually kind of reminds me of Imparta the Inca mummy girl that that episode I think that was back in season one just just trying to have a normal life a really good episode really fun I love the humor in this it was just really quirky and that kind of thing is always appreciated by me because it's fun you always guaranteed for something fun we've met someone else now another boy called Parker I don't know if we'll see too much of him he may just be a character that comes and goes over the college years but I'm so happy that Wheeler and Buffy are roomies that's how it should have been from the beginning, but I'm glad that we've got there now. So we had that little introduction to a different roomie, but now of course Willow and Buffy are together. Makes me worry though that if you're going to live with someone, if you're going to room with them, could there be friction between those two at some point? Because not everyone gets along all the time. So that is going to be interesting to see what happens with their relationship going forward after becoming roommates. It's actually really wonderful to see that the format hasn't changed too much. We still have um, the gang together, we still have Giles helping, Oz helping, Xander helping, even though that Giles and Xander 
are not at college, they are still part of the group. I think it's really good. I'm very happy so far. I have been nothing but impressed. It's a lot of fun and I'm excited for the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for being here and spending time with me. I really appreciate it and have a wonderful day, guys. I'll see you later.